you know. I don't have my Maple Leaf fans. Welcome to the Big Year Game uh, press conference before they take on the um, Seattle Kraken tomorrow night. So we're taking it live right now to the Maple Leaf press conference. I'll be back later on tonight with Raptors highlights as the Raptors take on the Charlotte Hornets tonight. So stay tuned for those highlights at midnight. What stands out to you about how nice it started the year? You know, I said uh, I said at the beginning of the year I was excited to see, uh, really excited to see Nizy. He just looked, uh, you know, those those um, exhibitions before the season. He just looked like he was coming in with a lot of confidence, and he's uh, he's brought that into the games. Uh, you know, brought intensity. He's using his body really well. So, uh, yeah, it's been exciting to to see his development over just one year. The more physically he plays, the possibility for fights. Like, is that what you guys are chatting with uh, about at the end of practice there? Uh, I mean, we were just, yeah, just kind of talking about it a little bit. Right. Yeah. Like, how fearsome could he be in that scenario? I and mean, it's not going to be his bread and butter, but... Yeah, I mean, he's, he's a strong kid, so I'm, I'm sure he'd be able to handle himself any time uh, the situation came. But, um, yeah, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a brick, whatever, house, whatever you want to say. Can't say it on TV, sorry. He was a big guy when he broke in the league. He said he put on a lot of muscle mass. Did you notice just how much he's bigger and stronger he looks than last year? I mean, last year he looked he looked pretty solid too. Um, he said he wanted to lose weight, and I was like, no, nah, I wouldn't do that. You know, just how powerful he is when he's skating, and you know, it's it's hard hard for guys to handle him down low. You can see when he has the puck, it's it's hard to get it off of him. So, um, I, th I think he's at a real good weight for himself right now. How similar do you find Tavares and Pacioretty? Are you been teammates with both of them? Like, are they similar? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I I, I do uh, compare them once in a while, actually. So yeah, they're uh, on and off the ice a little bit. How are they? Similar? Uh, <laughs> very stuck in their ways. <laughs> they have, they just have their things that they like, and then that's okay. It's, uh, they have their routines, and uh, yeah. Is Max like? I, I feel like John is the most in, in kind of in his ways in terms of how he approaches things. How close is Max to that? Pretty close, <laughs> but uh, you know, I think. You know, some of the best players in the world are because uh, you know they get to a certain point in their career where they're they're that good, and you stick with what works. So um, I think they've earned the right to be like that. And what did you like about that line the other night? Well, they were scoring a lot of goals. They uh, they look good. They were uh, you know on the forecheck. They were in front of the net. Um, obviously, put a couple in, but um, yeah, they they can control the play a lot. What, what's the competition like at the bottom of the line of it? Feels like everyone is kind of rotating out at some point here. Like, what's that do for the internal competition on the team? Yeah, I mean, it's good. You know, if you have you know that, that many uh, able bodies that can contribute, it's uh, it's good for the team. And um, you know, keeping guys fresh is important too. So it's. Uh, it's a good problem to have. Pat has been around for a long time. What's something you learned about him so far this year that maybe you didn't know before? Uh, well, I think Pat has been known as a, I think plays a power forward type of game, obviously. Uh, skates real well, very heavy on the puck. Uh, four checks extremely well. Obviously, good, great shot, can really rip it. But uh, his playmaking ability in hockey sense is uh, is really, really good. Uh, just great awareness out there with and without the puck, putting himself in good spots and obviously making plays when when they're there, reading coverage and understanding when opportunities present, present themselves and finding open ice. So uh, made some great plays the other night. So uh, it's been a lot of fun playing with him to start the year and uh, has been, you know, made a great, great impact for us here. So, um, you know, and just his leadership and, you know, his, his uh, experience and what he brings every day in the locker room and, you know, how he goes about taking care of himself and preparing 
all those things go a long way, I think, uh, in making an impact on the team. You know, he was saying he feels like you guys are pretty similar on and off the ice. He described it as stuck in your ways, but like, yeah. do you find him as a bit of a kindred spirit in terms of the off ice stuff? Yeah, and I think just real knowledgeable. I think always looking to learn and get better and find different things that can uh, that can help you continually evolve and improve. And um, you know, as as uh, some things always stay the same, but obviously a lot changes. And uh, you know, different things you go through you go through throughout your career and that you learn and that you experience that uh, you know you just gain knowledge and understanding of that uh, just handle things differently or um, you know understand things that have always kind of been really really solid that uh, you know that are important you know foundation pieces for for how you play or how you work on things. So, um, you know, he's very knowledgeable, very aware of those things and, and taking that all in and, and applying it to uh, his day-to-day. You mentioned post-game the other night that you'd like to clean up some things on the power play. Like, where do you feel like you can elevate on the man advantage? Yeah, I think just just being good with, you know, your touches, uh, specifically on entries, just being on the opposite side there uh, is a little bit different. So, um, you know, something I'm very comfortable with, and, and something that I, I, I think I'm very strong at. But obviously, been on the other side of a lot of the, uh, lot of the entries over the last number of years. So just being, being a little better there, and you know, just uh, making sure that uh, uh, you put yourself in a good spot to, to execute and um, give ourselves a, a real good opportunity to get set up and create momentum and, and, and be, be in, uh, be in their zone and, and be able to put them on their heels, and create opportunities. So um, just executing. Guy says he considers you like a role model. And kind of follows you around there with the extra work. Uh, like, what, what sort of growth have you seen in, in him this year? Yeah, I think you just see, uh, you know, he's just got, got such an amazing skill set. I think uh, potential is so high. And, uh, you know, very unique to, to have, uh, you know, someone so young that's so physically mature, uh, but also has the finesse to his game and, and uh, his ability to create space in tight areas, uh, soft hands in, in those tight areas, in and around the net. Um, you, know, you can just see, uh, I, I think, the belief in himself and the understanding of just the day-to-day, the game-to-game, uh, shift-to-shift, playing in the league and certainly playing uh, uh, with Austin and Mitchie and the matchups that you're going to get and the challenges those presents, just how, how well he's adapting to that and how consistent he's becoming. So um, obviously a, a major part of our lineup and uh, great to see the growth in him. Is it easy to forget how young he is when you see him on the ice? He seems like a pretty mature guy off the ice. Yeah, I mean, he's got his moments off the ice, that's for sure. Uh, but, uh, you know, he's a big part of the locker room too. I think his, uh, his youthfulness, his energy, um, sometimes a bit naive on a few things that uh, I think works in his favor, but uh, something we get a good chuckle at from time to time. Uh, certainly, um, like I said, his potential is so high and he's just scratching the surface and um, the way he works on things and, and, you know, I think is very aware, uh, like you guys are saying, um, in and around the room, uh, different guys and different things and, and the areas of growth uh, uh, that uh, he's looking looking to have. It's, it's been been awesome for our team and awesome for him. So it's, it's great to see and obviously still a lot more ahead. What's he now even about? Oh, I don't know. It's, uh, you know, when we live together, just sometimes we're sitting there having breakfast and he's just scrolling on his phone and just totally misses some of the conversations we're having. And we think he's listening, but he's not always quite there. So, um, but, uh, you know, he's uh, he's also very aware at the same time. So it's kind of kind of funny that way. But, uh, you know, my, my boys in particular love him, always asking how nice he's doing and when he's coming back over to come hang out. So uh, we miss him over at my household. But, uh, um, yeah, it gives, uh, gives us a good chuckle from the time to time in here. And like I said, a, a big part of our locker room, I think, not just about his play, but uh, I think his presence and, and that youthfulness um, and just what his potential is. Trust your gut. Go all in and let your skills do the talking. Your journey to the NAPT starts now. Coming out of the lineup, you had a good run there. Was it yeah. a surprise? Like, how did you process it? Uh, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, um, again, I don't know. I just, uh, I don't know if surprise or not. I just, you know, go with it. I'm not. Uh, doesn't take anything personal. I just got to work hard. And again, there's other guys that are not playing that, um, you know, should be playing. Or so it's just part of the deal, and it's my job to work hard. How have you assessed the, your start to the season? I thought, it, you know, it's been fine. I mean, uh, I think I've had some good games, some okay games, um, but uh, obviously puck luck hasn't really been there at the start. You know, um, pucks bobbing out on my stick. You know, pucks not going in, but I'm sure they'll turn around and. I know. I just focus on the things. I'm still confident uh, in my game. I'm still, you know, happy with some of it. Obviously, got to clean up a few areas and and uh, yeah, just go with it.
talk in the preseason we're just focusing on things you can control yeah. is that kind of the mindset that oh, really applies here now yeah yeah i mean i'm not really you know beating myself about it i know that uh, i'm gonna get another opportunity whenever that is and it's my job to execute i think for me the biggest thing is to execute obviously sometimes luck doesn't go your way but it's my job in practice and every rep i get to execute craig had mentioned that it was a bigger team in winnipeg that's one of the reasons he wanted a bigger lineup just where are you at when it comes to facing down bigger guys and trying to be successful in that situation I'm not really phased by it. That's his decision on Winnipeg. I'm not um, scared at all about how big or whatever. I'm obviously not uh, the biggest guy in the room, but you know I think I play bigger than what I'm at. So um, you know I still want to work on you know you know winning battles and, and doing things that bigger guys can do well. Obviously for me it's a challenge being smaller, but uh, it's my job to execute in that area. What are you thinking about when you're out there alone, like well after practice ends? Execute. I think for me the biggest thing is execute. And uh, again, like I said, every rep, every everything in practice, I try to you know score. I try to make sure you know pucks are on tapes and everything. And um, it's gonna go in. I think it's just being positive and not trying to beat myself up about how the nine games have gone. Just to worry about uh, what I can control in practice and focusing on the day that I'm in. Reeves was saying he feels like you guys are kind of similar off the ice. He described it as stuck in your ways. Like, do you feel like a kindred spirit maybe a little bit with him? Like, do you feel like you guys are similar? Yeah, I, I felt like I was always a little bit of a, I, out there with uh, things I, I like to do and keeping a routine and trying to feel as good as I can out there. And then I came in and he's probably got a little bit even more tendencies than I do of uh, whether it's you know part of a warm up or um, a routine, I guess you call it. But uh, he's, he's dialed in and uh, um, I've learned a lot from him already in the short time I've been here, and uh, I love stuff like that. <laughs> What's something you've learned or maybe even stolen from him? Um, well, I'm skating with uh, the guy that helped him out a lot, um, two of them. So we've talked about it before, the, the opportunity here to work on your game and uh, kind of how skating's evolved um, since him and I came in the league. It's, Everything I'm learning right now is completely against and every, everything that I grew up um, learning in terms of skating. And, and uh, I knew about it a little bit, but Johnny opened up my eyes to it big time. So that's Paul and Patrick yeah. you've been working with a lot? Yeah. Well, on the skating side, like, how has it changed? Like, how different? Well, it's a quicker game now, and I think uh, everyone used to talk about long, powerful strides, and now it's more of, you know, keeping your feet under your body and quick feet and, and uh, staying on top of the ice and, uh, you know, no, look no further than 88. He's yeah. uh, probably the master at that. For you, different roles this season, the physicality side. I mean, you've always been physical down low, but like, do you feel like it's ratcheted up a bit? Do you like that? Yeah, yeah, I do. It's uh, an area of my game that's kind of always been there. And, and uh, sometimes, you know, been told by coaches or, or whatnot to dial it down a little bit. Right. But, uh, you know, because obviously it takes away at other areas of the game. But I just feel that. Um, where I fit in with this team being physical is probably um, one of the biggest areas that I can help this team, especially up the lineup and um, looking to do that as much as I can. I've gotten a little bit better at it down low, but I still think I can be, you know, when I have the puck, be a little bit more violent and uh, create a little bit more time and space. What have you learned about Matthew Nyes' strength? Well, he's, I mean, I knew he was big, but he's really big, <laughs> especially at a younger age to, to be uh, physically mature like that is is rare. And um, he's a smart player that plays in all situations, which is also rare for a young player. So I think when you have those areas covered, you can kind of be a little bit more free and work at all the other areas of the game. And uh, from what you know, guys have been saying, he's been doing that. And uh, he, he's a, you know, every night he's a dangerous player and a uh, big part of this team. Uh, yeah, that's what did you like about uh, the Tavares line the other night? What allowed them to have so much success? I thought they were heavy on the puck. I mean, I think that, that's the biggest thing for me is all three of them were heavy on pucks, um, won puck battles, and went to the net and scored, you know, all three goals were right around the net, you know, so they were, they were very good. Tavares keeps uh, fending off father time, being around him. What stands out about his ability to kind of stay ahead of that? Right? Professionalism, um, work ethic, you know, he's constantly working on his game and very takes care of everything, you know, what he needs. And, um, you know, he's got great focus. Are you hoping to build some competition between the power play units that you have now? Well, yeah, a little bit maybe, but it's more about just trying to find some chemistry with, you know, the power play, I think. 
I think though, like I, I go back to looking at it and the opportunities we had, our shooting percentage is very low on the power play. And if it's up a bit, it's a, it, that makes a huge difference, right? Um, we're getting great A's like I talked about, um, but they're not going in. But in the end, it wasn't working, so I, I mixed it up. That's really all it boils down to. I'm not looking for much more than that. You mentioned the numbers game. Is it difficult for maybe some of the guys who are on the outside looking in to kind of get the practice time because it just really hasn't been a lot of practices to kind of show that? Yeah, it's always a little bit of a concern and issue, and I, we try to give the guys as much as we can, you know, on day of games and things like that so they can stay sharp. How do you coach discipline, like the, the penalties that yeah, are the happening penalties. right now? How do you well, you, I mean, it's addressed. You can sit guys' shifts, which I have. We There's lots of things, but it's not from <clears> – <throat> The penalties aren't from just a guy going off page and going to take a penalty. It's managing, <laughs> being aggressive with your stick and, and doing things right. Like, I get there's penalties that are imp not important, but you can you can deal with it when there's a scoring opportunity and somebody has to make a desperate play. He, he maybe has to take a penalty, but we've taken, you know, I think three, maybe four penalties in the offensive zone. And to me, those are the ones that bother me the most. I mean, they're 200 feet from our net. I mean, you know, you gotta, we got to be smarter than that. And then in the third period, too. We take, took one in Boston in the offense is only in the third period. Then in Winnipeg, we took two in the third, I believe. And um, really, the, they weren't necessary. There was no danger anywhere. And uh, we just got to be better. Is that just coaching that out? Or is it just kind of showing where they can kind of... Approaching, coaching it out, and um, you know, looking at it obviously too, but coaching it out, and um, again, just making guys aware of it, and and if they, you know, obviously got to do something if they keep doing it. Well, they, you know, they they're a quick team, right? Uh, play a fast game. Um, I think right from their first year, um, I thought they were a difficult team to play against with their transition game and their quickness. They got a lot of speed and. They do things quick, um, you know. So we're gonna have to be ready and on our toes and making sure we're, you know, managing the puck against this team. That'll be really important, and um, you know, getting above their speed. Does guys remind you of anyone you've coached before? Or do you see someone in the league right now that who would be a good role model for him? He's so young, and he seems, to, you know, the high ceiling. Yeah, I look at guys like you know. Uh, big guys, Keith Kachuk and Guerin and these guys back in the day that were power forwards, you know, um, John LeClaire type, those types of guys that I've been around and played with and uh, played against for a number of years where, you know, you're a, you're a heavy guy, you're, you're, you're a good four checker and then you're around the net all the time. And he's doing a re very good job of that. You know, he's, he can skate extremely well. He's very powerful. And he, he plays north, and, you know, he's doing a good job of getting to the net and, and with those guys. He lets them do their thing, and he's around that net. You had Robertson kind of rotating at that camp line today. Is, can, can he play that sort of role at some point, or is he a guy that you feel like has to be more in a scoring role if he's in the lineup? Well, it's a little of both, but I do believe he can. You know, we had him out there penalty killing today because I do think that he can be a penalty killer for us with his speed and his tenacity. And it's something I want him want to keep working with him and him to keep building because that could be a very, uh, you know, good thing to have. And... Um, a little bit more of a role for him that way too. That's not taken away from his scoring ability or anything like that, but it's just another part of his game that can grow. You know, I'm so glad you're checking out EQ Bank. Free withdrawals at any ATM in Canada. Hmm. Just think of all the money you're paying in.